Hello friend, this is Ali Raza. In this video, I will provide you with an update on the Iraqi dinar. Please subscribe to my channel to stay informed. Let's get started, Intel Guru Frank 26. Sudani is visiting Washington, Michigan, and Texas while in the United States of America. Frank, understand the seriousness of this trip. It's not to go see some guy at the White House. It's to go lay out the groundwork for both of their reforms. Newshound Intel Guru Mount Goat Shafak News agency followed the data and tables issued by the Ministry of Finance in April for the January accounts of the current fiscal year, which showed that oil is still the main resource for Iraq's general budget, reaching 89%, which indicates that the rentier economy is still the main basis of the country's general budget. The rentier economy is the oil economy of Iraqi. But even with the rentier economy alone, the Iraqi dinar can still maintain a realistic rate of at least $3 or more. And this is not considering all the other assets in the two, three more oil Iraq is pumping and selling since 1991, when the dinar was just around dollar three. The Parliamentary Strategic Planning Committee provided an explanation for the government's decision to withhold the budget schedules from the House of Representatives, citing the necessity to address certain organizational issues before doing so. There are some technical issues in the operational budget that stood in the way of sending the budget schedules from the government to Parliament, stated MP Mohammed al-Baldawi, the committee's deputy leader. He said, The advisors, in addition to the ministries of finance and planning, are continuing to work to complete the operational budget and submit its schedules to Parliament for approval. Sending its schedules to Parliament has been hindered by a significant increase in operational budget expenditures, he said. This is especially true in light of the recent appointments and treatments the government has implemented in the functional aspects. Parliament intends to amend four important laws during the upcoming sessions. Abdul Hadi al Abbasi, the independent representative for the Najaf Governorate, said today, Monday, that work would be done on modifying four significant legislation during the next sessions of Parliament. According to al Abbasi, the House of Representatives intends to amend four laws that serve broad segments of society and are directly related to citizens' lives in the first place. He said, The upcoming sessions of Parliament include amending the laws for people with disabilities and special needs, the Martyrs Foundation, the Organization of Renewable Energy, and the Reconstruction and Housing Fund, as well as other laws. The House of Representatives is subject to a great deal of political and public criticism. The former presidency of Parliament, represented by Mohammed al halbusi does not respond to or postpone the government's or parliamentary committee's repeated requests for approval, which results in the passage of laws not moving forward.